Do you have any idea of the type of people that come to your shows and buy your records? I hope they're getting older. Because when we first came out, it was like romper room at our shows <laughs> for mental jewelry. But we were kids too, so it was like cool. Now with this record, I think we still have young, the young like MTV viewing audience, which is like you know, 15 to 18. But now we're starting to get more like college age kids and older. MTV had come through with the hairband phase and Vanilla Ice and, and uh, you know, its pop success with Michael Jackson and Madonna and all those things and had decided that that was eventually going to go nowhere for them, commercially, I guess. And they decided that they want to get back to their grassroots. And we happened to be one of the first bands that they picked up on in that whole thing. So it was actually very confusing for a lot of people that were, you know, college radio programmers or, or modern rock radio programmers because I think somewhere in their mind they thought well you know is this band uh, another you know Vanilla Ice <laughs> or, or what are they you know and the same with Nirvana and the same with Pearl Jam I've actually seen interviews with them when they were talking about it where you know people wouldn't come out to see their shows and stuff because they actually thought that they were an MTV band whereas in fact um, you know, we had never expected to even really ever be played on MTV. Talk to me, talk to me now. Hey man, you're all that I have. Hey man, you're all that I have. If there's anything folky about our first record, it was just a lack of ability with our instruments combined with just a real clear vision of what we wanted to do. Because we, we were too young to have been influenced by by anything real like eclectic and cool because York was a pretty sheltered place now we're starting to become more versed in like what's going on musically in the world ever since we got out of York and was and started touring for our band I think also I think it has a lot to do with how you sing and how you sound when you actually have an acoustic guitar in your hands um, I think that, that there's just something that naturally happens with the way that you want to sound with that instrument and I think that a lot of the folk sound came because of the fact that Ed was just playing an acoustic guitar at the time. There were electric instruments backing it up, um, but the more and more that we toured, um, and the larger my guitar rig became, the more Ed needed an electric guitar. And uh, just because he couldn't hear the acoustic anymore, it wasn't making the same impact. And then he switched over to playing electric, and. Uh, I noticed his voice changed and the style in which he was singing became much more raw. And um, and that just happened because, you know, we toured for almost two years for Mental Jewelry, so it was just that constant beating of being on the road, and it became much easier to actually just play with all electric instruments and ditch the acoustic guitar. We don't even use an acoustic now at all. Is there something, according to you, that bands like uh, Pearl Jam, Live, and other sort of bands from that same generation have in common, and what is it? I think uh, the one thing that they all have in common is uh, self-awareness, and that uh, the generation that I'm in and that they're considered in, uh, the quote-unquote Generation X, that we're that we don't really have any point. I think they're just trying to they're trying to say, you know, we have a point. We're trying to correct everything that's messed up in the world, in a way by adjusting ourselves and helping ourselves first, figuring out who we are, and then everyone else will fall into place once they know who they are. And the world will, it'll, once we can all get along together, then everything's gonna be fine in the world. We won't have to worry about destroying it anymore. People in our generation have similar feelings and emotions, just like every, we're, we're, we're faced with the same things. We, we feel part of like the music that's going on right now not because we tried to sound like it, but because we, as part of the unconscious movement of what's going on with our age of people, we just developed into what we are. So we're, we've, re, we've maintained our uniqueness 
and we can't say that we'd, we're not a part of what's going on. Thank you. Good night. I got Ed to sign my picture, and I got a drumstick when I threw him out. Oh, definitely one of the best concerts I've ever run to. It was incredible. Right. Live in Amerika. En laten we gaan kijken naar de band die dus nu op het podium staat. En omschreven is door een Amerikaanse journalist, Timothy White, als de nieuwe U2. We gaan naar het hoofdpodium en kijken naar live.